Hello and what's up everybody, it's ThunderBob here, and tonight we're checking out a new game. This is It Return to the Desert, from solo developer Tim Rayshore. This uh, comes out uh, February 15th, so I got this a uh, couple weeks early. The developer was kind enough to let me check this out, the key. And uh, this game is, it's kind of like an old school... Um, I don't know if I want to call it like a, a strategy game. It's actually loosely based around an old game. It came from the desert, which was a Amiga game in 1989. I had never actually played that, but my experience with the series comes from a series of missions in Command and Conquer Red Alert, which uh, were kind of um, Easter egg calling back to that Amiga game. So I kind of, I know of it, I never played the original game, but I find this kind of fascinating that there's kind of like a spiritual successor being made today. So we're going to check this out. And the Steam description for this says, It's a unique mix of turn-based strategy and adventure. Defend the town of Glint Rock against radioactive giant ants. Dr. Mill is a geologist that came to town to examine the recent meteor crash. Now he has to convince the town folks that there's something going on. Yeah, let's go ahead... Not a lot of settings here, it's, uh, no resolution change that I can find here. I wouldn't expect it for the style of game though, I think it's really trying to harken back to the original. Uh, and I did read a bit about that original game. It had like a time limit, and if you did not kind of stop the ants by the time the limit ended, you lost. Uh, and there was some replayability in that like, you know, there were different ways to, to beat things and solve things, so it's kind of like... A, it seems like this is hearkening back to that. I'm going to leave it at the default level and the normal for combat as well. This is very funny. Um, a lot of games back then had copy protection that was basically asking you for a specific word from the manual. So that's a great callback. I don't have a manual though, but I'm just going to say the wrong answer buddy we don't want your critical scum your criminal scum in our town beat it let's see i've got a manual here is that like the first how to that's very funny okay so what did it ask me At least like the fourth word in the second paragraph on page five. Fourth word in the second paragraph. Mets. Okay, if you click that, actually, would have just taken you here. So, All right, the fourth word in the second paragraph. Is there a page number at the? Oh, okay. Even though I'm on page 5, it's not really page 5. It's kind of cool that they give you an actual manual. It's consumable. Fourth word in the second paragraph. Oh, this is page 5 up here. Okay. Movement. Correct, and you're welcome to our town. I'll wait in front of the door until you unpack. Just come outside when you're ready. I finally arrived at my new home. I'd love to lay down for a while, but I'm too excited to find out more about that meteorite. There's a message on the answering machine. Maybe I should play it before I leave. And I'm just going to check out like the first, I don't know, 20, 20 minutes of this to get a taste of it, kind of know what it's all about. If I do put more time into it, I might do a full review of this down the road, but being that it's not out yet, I don't want to do like a full playthrough or anything, but kind of give you an idea of what to expect here. Such number one. I've been notified of your arrival by the Miskatonic University. They expect us to support your examining that rock, so very busy. Would you please come over to my lab? Ooh, I love the buffalo boys.
I love that they have like actual pixelized photos for the characters. It's like that. Something very Amiga ish. Is there anything else I could like interact with? Or is it all context sensitive? I do want to just show you the manual one more time. I'm kind of amazed by it. I had to pause and take a look through it. Um, not many like indie games kind of this caliber I've seen come with like this substantial of a manual. This is pretty cool. I almost want to print this thing out. Like with color photos, combat guide, like all the way down to like maps and stuff. Look at this stuff. It's pretty cool. Character biographies. Look at this, there's a all the weapons. And like a little puzzle at the end. Yeah. So that, that's just a, a cool little bonus. It, it reminds me a bit of um, Tunic, which had a really cool manual that played into the gameplay. I don't know if that's happening here, but just a, a cool thing to see. Hey there, partner. Just stop by to welcome to our little town. It's Dr. Mill, right? I'm the sheriff of Glint Rock, but just call me Alex. You got everything you need? Yes, thank you. I'm fine. Where can I find the university? I'd want to talk to Professor Lee. Well, the road up north, and it'll be the big campus on the left. You came at just the right time. Spring Festival will take place soon. The campus, it's the big event in town each year. Would you not want to miss it? Come by and let me know what you found out afterwards. I'm not really sure how to handle this situation. It's 97 degrees and it is 1988, which is kind of ironic because the Amiga game, I think, got an 89. Let's see. WASD will let you move around the map, which is a fairly substantial game world. I'm trying to see if there's like a zoom and zoom out. It doesn't seem like it. I should really go back to that manual and uh, take a look. Victory notebook party, low time exit. In the first part, you have to find more about the meteor crash. Visit the crash site to the northeast of town. Controls, WSD. Or arrow key scrolls the current screen one to four in combat select party members one to four space to end the current turn escape pause exit i to open the inventory p party menu n notebook it has two movement points do i physically move around or am i just like clicking on yeah i think i just click on where i want to go closed closed University lab. Okay. There you are, Mills. Is that right? Actually, it's Mill. Dr. Mill. There's no S. Oh, yes, of course. Geoscience, I believe. Take a look around. You'll see that my lab is equipped with everything a scientist could ask for. But let me make one thing clear. Don't waste my time. If you need something studied, just drop it off and I'll notify you of the results. I think that's fair, and I hope you'll find whatever you're looking for. Very busy with my research, and now the mayor has decided that his year spring festival should take place on my campus. Sigh. Now I need to get back to work, and I guess you have some work to do yourself. Come back later. Okay. Is this like the day-night cycle, I take it? A little save up here. My caps lock's on. Inventory. Ooh, do I have a gun? I would just he have a gun on him. Man, it's hot think. God, the rental I got has a working AC. Ain't that the truth? I'm from Florida. And that is, that is very true. 
21 days left. Okay. So I guess I should just keep exploring. Wait for the show to end. That's going to cost one hour. Is there anything else I can do for that hour? Closed. Should I go to the meteorite impact site? Take a look around, take a sample. Can't miss the big smoldering rock in the crater that crashed here just yesterday. It used to be much larger. Immediately drawn to the ominous green glow it's emitting. I've not seen anything like it before. It might be dangerous. I should examine it more closely. It's still hot, but after some searching, I found a small piece that splintered off. Okay. Oh, I need to take it, I guess. Yeah. It's interesting that it's not like you know, some of these games are a little pixel hunting where you're trying to find the specific pixels you can interact with. Instead, the game has kind of like all of the things you can do. Okay, in some ways, I like that, but I also like interacting with the environment, so I hope there's some of that. I was a big adventure player back in my youth. I've actually got on the channel here a full playthrough of the unreleased Warcraft Adventures game. Um, it leaked, and uh, I did a full playthrough uh I don't know, a couple months ago. So if you're into these type of games, feel free to check that out. So let's go back to the radio station. Now oh, that's grayed out. Did I miss my opportunity? Oh, the day is... The day is changing. Praise the Lord, country and western. Definitely feels like the South. So am I, I'm on day two. I've lost a day already. Should I... I guess let's go back to the lab and turn in the fragment. Oh, you got me a rock. Well, come back tomorrow and I'll tell you about my finding. I just want to fight some... Some, uh... Some ants. That's what this game's all about. It's like a throwback to the 50s sci-fi uh, stories like them. I go here. I just started the machine, so I get some time. What do you want? Name is Mill without an S. What would a radio DJ care about what I find? But I'm a big fan of like old sci-fi movies too, like those cheesy 50s, like you know the stuff that uh, Mystery Science Theater will will uh, crack on. Uh, I both ironically and unironically love them. Frank, our authorities were a bit overwhelmed and didn't really know what to do with the rock, so I'm glad you're here. I hope Spring Festival they all get eaten. If you need any help, Professor Lee from the UMT and Alex, the Sheriff, I've both briefed on your arrival. Okay. Okay, she wants everything to just be swept under the rug. Let's go talk to some people. Are you lost, honey, or did you come here to visit old Maria? New to town and wanted to introduce myself, my name is Mill, and I'm here to examine the meteor. How exciting, that crash was god awful loud, my cattle was going crazy and it took almost the whole night to calm him down is it i just that, that took my entire day <laughs> a hazmat suit good to know radioactive precious metals precautions need to be taken 
very busy and as this falls more into your area i suggest you talk to the sheriff he needs to close off the whole area before some dimwit metals in i should talk to the sheriff where was the hospital grant Meteor Apex site. Frank Festival. Park. Police station. Ah, oh, the new face in town. So I heard you're some kind of scientist? Yes, I'm a geologist. I'm here to investigate the meteor crash. It's the first on site. Kenny woke me in the middle of the night that he saw a UFO. Not much happening in a town like this. If people get pretty excited, I'm sure they'll be bombarded with your questions. You mean by dangerous? It's possibly that it's radioactive. Chris Lee did some tests and I got radiation emitted. It's off the charts. There's less than a hundred people living here. The bar. Maybe could pick up some ladies. I, I love uh, the old sci-fi movies of this era. The little after this, Night of Living Dead is one of my favorites. I just finished listening to uh, the audiobook of The Living Dead, which is kind of like a follow-up to George Romero's series. Gas station, bar. Why does it take an hour to get from the police station to the bar? They're across the street. Crashed UFO. I am not a cop. I'd have to tell you if I was, right? GRX4. Is that like a video game system? Oh, the radio station. That's right. Should I go back to the... Or is it going to be blocked off now? Maybe I should go talk to the lab guy again. Nope. So it seems like the stuff nearby like takes less time. Maybe if I tell this guy that there's radiation. No, nope. he doesn't want to know. Let's see. If something important comes up, I will draw an exclamation mark in my map. Didn't see any exclamation points. Guess I'll just go places I haven't been yet. It needs some vitamins. UFO crashed. Everyone thinks it's a UFO. So with that. Get some aspirin drugs bandages. Yeah. I feel like removes one random injury, two time doses of very important healing drug. Good for head injuries. Should I buy some stuff? Maybe I should. I don't have a lot of money, but I feel like I might need stuff.
a lot of text about cornbread. This day is almost over already. Here because of the meteorite. Beer, beer. Deodorant. Reduces your smell in combat. Day is over. I like that animation. It's very old school, but looks cool. Kind of like, should I go back to the crash site, maybe? Do here though, and that just ate up a couple hours. I wish it give you a little bit more like. Like, no one's really told me. I'm just supposed to be like, oh. There's an exclamation point. I guess it is telling me. Something really strange happened. Someone damaged my fence. I mean, it could just have been some animal. It was the fence facing into the direction of the meteor, so I thought you might want to take a look. Laying on the ground, besides that seems in good shape. It was an animal, it had to be a big one, like a big ant. There's something clinging in the bushes right next to where the fence landed. It definitely has kind of like a creepy vibe to it. Like, look at that face. That face is freaking creepy. Sh sure, I'll help you. Or just that much closer to, like, the end of the world, because I helped you put up your stupid fence. Let's take the sample back to the lab. Turn it in. So he's gonna call me tomorrow, probably. It is a park. There's not enough time left in the day to walk around. One less day. It kind of has that, like, small town vibe or something, like, um... Uh, reminds me of uh, Twin Peaks. Kind of that small town creepy vibe. There's something going on behind the scenes. Kind of just says the same thing every time. Do I wait for the scientist or should I go back and see if... I'm just going to go back. Nope, he's not ready and that, that ate up some time. Will you talk to me? You will not talk to me. So is it only when there's like an exclamation point? Okay, that's a little annoying because I was just there, buddy. Because there's a high density of nutrients. Why well, couldn't he tell me that when I got there? And after some additional analysis, I found hormones and even strains of micro RNA. Analyzing the RNA could determine that the food must come from the family of Formicidia. Excuse me, I forgot who I'm talking to. Formicidae is an insect family containing species like wasps, bees, and ants. The saliva of an insect. Okay. Let's look for any exclamation points, because I do not have... I think this day is almost over already. So, is there anywhere I haven't been? Gun shop closed. Next station, bar. I need to go back to the mayor's office. I really want to get into some combat in this first video, but I also don't want it to be like too long. I'm trying to keep it under 30 minutes. Definitely feels kind of like a point-and-click, like, old-school... Like, before my time, my point-and-click adventure games were, like, Grim Fandango, um, The Last Express I really enjoyed. I guess let's, uh, let's kill some time. Let's go back to the bar.
visited the meteor site and destroyed the barriers. Now I wonder, is that rock valuable or could someone else have stolen it to build a bomb? It's the ants. Music's pretty decent too. Some of it feels a little out of place at times. And voice acting would be nice, but it's kind of hard to expect that from, you know, uh, uh, an indie game of this scale, especially when they're emulating like an old retro game that didn't have voice acting to start with. I knew it. All right, so now we can see some combat. He's like, definitely a retro styling, like barely can kind of see what's happening. So I got a gun and my fist. I still don't know why he's got a gun. All right, one shot, one kill. I think it said I get two actions per turn, right? I must not be close enough, so. I think I'm out of actions because it will not let me fire again. Oh, you missed me. Well, that was easy. I know later, like, you fight these big ants. You also have multiple people with you. I saw there's, like, a party system. Should I go back in? You'd think he'd be like, holy shit, those were giant ants, right? Who do I go to first after I find giant ants? I'm going to go to the police station. Who are probably going to call me crazy. Three feet at least. All right, so I got to find other people. You saw the ants too. Is she now, is she with me? Yeah, I got a party now. Look at this. So I can tell her to do different things. Work, patrol, recruit. Do we each have separate inventories? We do. Okay, that's kind of cool. Should I try to pick up more people? Let's go to the mayor. That doctor's an asshole. Um, let's go tell the bar patrons. <laughs> She's just gonna tell me. They could add some additional, like, stuff there, because she says the same thing every day. And I'm down to 16 days left. Let's go to that There's an encounter. Those ants look like they're even bigger. Now I can see combat with two people. Don't see any ants though. So am I gonna have to like explore? They each get two, two moves. Let's 
see any over here. So could they be like anywhere? She doesn't have a gun. All right, so she did her two turns. I feel like Tab should cycle between the characters. Okay, one, two, okay. So the number keys do. That's fine. That music is definitely foreboding. Oh. Oh. Sophia just lost like half her health. So the punch sound just like the guns. That's a little groovy. Kinda. I wanna keep him with the gun. I hope she kind of moves further than he does. What's the compass? Is that... I don't know what that pink stuff is. Is that like ant pheromone or something? That's what I'm gonna... That's what my head cannon says. Don't want. Oh, I thought I was going to be too far away. Are there any more ants? I'm tired of these ants on my farm. Okay, it's over there. I kind of don't want to engage. I want him to come to us. Okay. How many ants can there be here? Where's that symbol at? I wish I could zoom out. That music is definitely like foreboding. Like, kind of reminds me of uh, XCOM. He's got the gun. He missed. All right, she's not gonna be able to get in range. Is he stunned? What's that symbol mean? Ooh, I just made a map, and he cannot take action. Can I? Can I use? I guess I can't use like my health pack. This is injured. Oh god. I'm gonna lose on like the second fight. Rumors spread like welfare after the fight. The people of Glint Rock are now more likely to take the threat seriously. So you're like building up people's awareness of the ant invasion fighting ants. I kinda get the gist of it. Ooh, she gave me money. Well, I think I'm going to end it for the e the evening. Uh, I still want to go and test this on my Steam Deck. Uh, that'll probably be the next step, but it's kind of intriguing. Um, it's definitely old school uh, gameplay, uh, old school graphics, but it feels a bit more modernized than probably the original did. Um, you've got kind of like almost a point and click adventure interface and then turn based kind of basic combat. Um, this is coming out February 15th, and I believe it was $9.99, which seems like a, a decent, you know, price for something of this, of this type. Uh, I am curious how many hours of gameplay it didn't say, um, that might, you know, change the value proposition here. But overall, I'm liking what I'm playing, so if I do end up beating it, 
uh, or you know full playthrough whatever that means uh, i'll drop a comment below with my thoughts uh, or make a new video so yeah if you did enjoy this please do like subscribe and uh just want to thank you for watching everyone have a good night